Hi, this is Bijumax. Welcome to my blog, bijumax.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to show how to create a MATLAB GUI application with the help of guide tool. So let's begin. Type guide in the command line. So it's opened up with a lot of templates, GUI templates. So I'm going to select uh, blank uh, GUI. So it's actually created a, a form for me and also some controls you can see here, some um, uh, push button, radio button, edit text box, etc. Let me first uh, drag and drop uh, a push button. I want to set some properties of this particular file. Before that, I want just to want to create uh, save this uh, particular file, just say demo six. So uh, automatically demo six dot uh, behind the scenes is created. Um, uh, we'll look this particular M file uh, after some time. Okay, let's concentrate on the uh, designer mode. This is called a designer mode, by the way. Um, let's set some properties uh, using the property inspector. So the property, this is our property explorer. The first property I'm interested in the tag property, which uh, basically uh, um, setting this property helps us to refer this particular control uh, in our M code. So I'm interested in this property first uh, pb um, say click me by the way uh, this property is equal to the name property uh, in the dot net world and i want to set the uh, string property as a click me that will be displayed on this uh, particular uh, push button or the button and i want to set the background color as uh, pink color so let me execute uh, this particular stuff you can see here a demo six uh, form and the click button uh, I mean the click me button in it so when I click the, uh, this button nothing happens we'll add some uh, code in, uh, to be executed when when I click uh, this particular button let's open up the M um, file so that we can do that uh, in callback function which is equal to the event handlers in the dot uh, net world so let me add here some code MSG box uh, uh, so uh, click let me save this and press F5 you can see here uh, the message box uh, pops up uh, with a click uh, text in it now um, go to the designer mode I am going to uh, drop a edit box here set some properties definitely the first one I am going to set is uh, tag property edit uh, say input okay and uh, I want to clear the out uh, the string property so that it appears a blank when I run this program set some background color light background color let me save this okay now you can see here um, a similar callback function uh, signature is created behind the scenes um, now I'm going to add some code in that. Um, say hello. Uh, this particular piece of code will be executed when uh, user inputs something and press enter button. So let's execute this F5. Say one, two, three. You can see here that bit piece of code is executed. Now I want to uh, display the entered text instead of hello. So how do I do that? So you can see here the signature of the uh, edit callbacks. There is a three parameters which is H object, event data and handles. So H object refers to the, uh, the uh, object itself which uh, triggers this callback. In our case this is the edit uh, input box. So uh, we can refer this particular uh, we can refer the property of the edit uh, input box uh, using this H uh, object. So I'm going to copy paste this particular statement which is automatically generated uh, documentation uh, by the guide tool. So basically what it does is that uh, it's uh, using a get proper a get, get function um, and get on a particular object uh, with a property uh, specified it will returns uh, the value of that particular property. Let's execute this program. Uh, I'll just say hello, hello world. 
can see here hello world now i am going to do i'm going to comment this i want to add say a uh, user input so some uh, number and i want to add that number uh, with a constant and display that uh, uh, in a message box when i click uh, the push button this is what i am going to do right now so let me define a value here val now the problem here uh, here the ob h object in this callback function this is the click me callback function or the click me uh, the push button uh, handler event handler so here the h object refers to the button itself and the event data and uh, the handle so how, so how do we actually refer the uh, edit input uh, um, edit input control so with the help of these handles so matlab provides the handles which actually basically um, um have all the uh, uh control handles uh, with them so you can if you want a particular control um a reference you can actually uh, do that by simply uh, simply uh, specifying handles dot its tag name in our case it's edit inbox let me copy paste this from here so that i don't misspell it okay okay now i got the uh, reference to the control where i want to retrieve some property now i apply a get function over that and uh, which property i'm interested which is i'm um, string property i'm interested i have mentioned the string property now it returns a um, string value and i want to do add a number constant value to uh, this particular property so how do i do that so i will have to convert to a number so that is uh, str to uh, str to num function okay so this gives me a numeric value i'm going to add for the time being in plus 1 okay and no i'm going to display must be box want to display that value again i have to uh, convert to num to str and that let me run this program so i'm going to add 1 so 1 plus 1 two. Two, two, uh, two 9 plus 1 10 so so many things you can do uh, with this guide tool i hope um, you got some idea about how to uh, start with the guide tool and there are a lot of controls you can actually uh, play around with um, hope you um, have a good time catch you later bye